I feel like I've been trying to make this video all day long. Um, I wanted to uh, share a story um, of something that happened to me two nights ago on August the 6th. Um, on August the 6th when I went to bed, um, I just had a conversation with God in my head and I asked the Lord uh, two things. I said, uh, I said, God, what is salvation? You know, I just wanted an answer to make it just abundantly clear that every time we go out and minister and as we um, start this church uh, here in Nashville, that we could make it so clear and concise and we could present the gospel in such a way that anybody can understand, you know. Um, so that was my reason for asking the Lord that. Um, just the single most important thing that that we must teach people in our church and uh, and and in our ministry. And then I asked him something else. I said, <laughs> I said, Lord, am I really saved? So those are the two things that I asked him. Um, well, I had a dream that very night. <sighs> um. God gave me a vision of what what looked like hell. Um, it was a uh, a wall of fire, a, just a panoramic view of fire that I saw. Um, it was from a distance, you know. I couldn't feel the fire. Um, I don't even remember the heat from the fire, um, but I remember seeing it you know, um, very, 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 very clearly, very clearly. Um, uh, I woke up to the piercing, beeping sound of our, of the smoke alarm here. I don't know if you can see it. And um, <laughs> it was like 4.45 in the morning. I mean, time that I, I don't wake up. Um, and, um, and I just, I, I said to Angela, I said, oh my gosh, you know, the smoke alarm is going off and, 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 you know, so he's looking at it. And, um, so finally I just decided to go back to bed. And when I lay back in bed, the Lord spoke to me. First he said, he said, you are not going there. Praise God. Um, then he said, salvation is about the heart. And he gave me the scripture, confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Are you willfully or knowingly sinning? Have you turned from your old lifestyle that you used to live? If you truly believe in your heart, you will turn away from anything that displeases me. This is, this is God. And then God gave me this scripture. He said, this is why my first command is to love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your mind, soul, and strength. Because if he doesn't have your heart, he can't have your mind, can't have your soul. Your strength can't come from the Lord if he doesn't first have your heart. He said, tell people, I want their hearts. This is what Salvation is all about the heart. He said, he even said, um, this is why I made you all musicians, you and Angelo. Because music reaches the hearts. Listen up, musicians. This is an incredible and awesome responsibility. Because music, you have the ability to reach people's hearts. 
He said, if you can reach people's hearts, you can let them know what they must do to be saved. And what God says to me, what God is saying is, He just wants your heart. Um, he also shared with me, he said, you know what, you have always had a heart for me since you were a little girl. This is a little bit personal, but I'm going to share it anyway. He said, um, he said to me, because you could never please your father, I gave you a heart to please me. Well, first thing in the morning, I looked up scriptures uh, with the word heart, and uh, God always confirms what he says with the Word of God, okay? And so here are just a few that I found that I jotted down. I mean, there's so many, so many scriptures on the heart, but these are from uh, actually the, I think these are all from the New Testament. Matthew 13, 15, For the hearts of the people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing. Their eyes they have closed. Lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears lest they should understand with their hearts. Understanding comes from the heart. Lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that they, so that I should heal them. This is how your heart gets healed when you give your heart to the Lord. Um, also, uh, Matthew 15, 19, For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. All sin begins with the heart. Again, this is why God wants your heart. Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. 37, Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all, and with all your mind. And Romans 10, 9, and I, and I said it before, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made to, unto salvation. So it's as simple as that. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Salvation is about the heart. Um, it's so funny because last night I was, you know, just watching um, some videos on YouTube and um, I saw a video on um, uh, one of my favorite, uh, 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 she's a writer and, and um, she's, a, she's a prophetess. Um, her name is Jennifer LeClaire and um, I was just looking at her latest video that she put up. And um, it was just like a four minute video. It's like the last one that she has up if you wanna go look at it, Jennifer LeClaire. And this is exactly what she said, which was yet another confirmation of you know, this dream that God gave me and, and what the Lord said to me. He, she, said that the, she, she said that the Lord told her that the battlefield is for the mind, but the war is for your heart. So this is it. It is all about the heart. And I'm asking you, you know what? I would not be an ambassador for Christ if I would not ask you and plead with you to be reconciled to God today. He wants your heart. So that's all. You must give your heart to Him. And you know what? He's going to lead you and guide you into His his righteousness. So I just want to pray really quickly if you want to give your heart to God today. Okay? Dear God, I come to you right now, and you can just repeat after me. I come to you right now, and I give you my heart. I ask you for salvation. What is true salvation? I ask you for it, that right now. I want to be saved. I want to turn away from whatever displeases you today. Again, I give you my heart. All that is in my heart, I give to you today. Because it is 
all about issues of the heart. I give you my heart. I turn away from my sin. Anything that displeases you, I renounce it right now in Jesus' mighty name. And I ask for your protection, Lord God. I ask for your protection as I hand over my life to you. I thank you, God, that you protect my family and that you will protect me. And I thank you, God, that I repent from all, every and all sin against you, anything that displeases you right now. And I confess with my mouth, Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead and that I right now am saved. That's it. You just gave your life to Jesus and he will protect you. You know, the only way out of certain situations in our lives, because I know that some people have given their lives to, not to God, but to the world and, and to the devil. And let me tell you, the only way out is through Jesus. If you've given your soul to Satan, the only way back is through Jesus. Jesus can give you your soul back. And I'm just letting you know today, if you said that prayer, that you are saved right now. And I plead the blood of Jesus over your life to, to protect you from all hurt and harm right now in Jesus' name. You know what? You can contact us through Facebook, through Twitter, through our website. We are not that hard to get a hold of if you need to talk about this further and you need to speak about, talk about your salvation and you need to uh, um, pray with somebody. Okay? So we love you all. We are dedicated and we are committed to the truth of Jesus Christ and to getting it out. So I love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.